guys, I have something a little bit different for you today. I was contacted by Graphic Stock to see if I wanted to do a video for them. So I checked them out and I think that they're pretty cool. So what I think is great about it is, you know, I do a lot of the printable template type deals and you can make your own background papers that you can print those templates onto and I think that would be really kind of cool. Um, and there's also all kinds of really cool images for like scrapbooking and um, art journaling and stuff like that. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you a couple projects that I've made using some of the stuff um, so you can see how, you know, how maybe it could be used. And, uh, but I first wanted to show you um, how easy the website works. And I don't have the capture software so that I have to, I literally have my camera in front of my monitor, so I apologize for that, and the glare. And I'm reaching around my camera, so I apologize for all of that. Um, but what's really cool about them is right now you can get a seven day free trial. So I uh, encourage you to at least do that. Get a seven day free trial and check them out and see, um, and see what they got available. And let's see, so I've already gotten an account and I'm already logged in. Okay, so you go down here and I'm gonna put in wood background. Whoops. And I'm gonna hit search. And then all these really cool images kind of pop up. You know, wood's a really uh, hot um, trend right now. I couldn't think of the right word. So it's got all these cool, and then at the bottom there, it, it'll have all these different, you know, you can go to the next page and the next page. There's literally, the results for that one was 3,281. Um, and that's, you know, that's a good thing to note is that this website has over 300,000 downloadable images um, that are royalty free with your membership. Um, right now, I think their year membership is like $99. So that's really, really cool. So they do have the largest um, downloadable, um, what am, what's the word I'm trying to say, library of graphics. So that's really cool. Um, so let me show you how to save one. I'm just going to pick, uh, I think I already have that one. And if you hover over an image, a bigger one shows up, which makes it nice. Let's pick, where'd the spoons one go? That was on the first page. I thought the spoon one kind of looked pretty cool. All right, I'm going to pick this one right here and I'm going to double click it and then you'll see this page show up. You can either create a folder within Graphic Stock or you can download it. So I'm going to download it because I've already made a photo on my desktop. So I hit download and then down here it says, do you want to save or open? So I'm going to hit the save arrow down button and save as. And then I've already got my graphic stock um, folder open. So I'm just going to save it. And then it, you can view downloads right now if you want to, but I'm not. I'm going to, I'm going to exit out of that for now. Um, so now that's on my desktop. So now I can use that royalty free um, forever, I guess. I guess there is no limit to it, just forever. A lot of websites, or most websites, if you want to use something royalty free, you're going to have to pay for it. And um, I think it's like, you know, a stupid amount of money, like $30 an image to have it royalty free forever. Um, and that, you know, that's just not feasible, especially if you're wanting to make your own scrapbook background papers and stuff like that. That's just not cool. Okay, so if you want to try the seven day free trial, you actually get to download 140 um, images. So give that a try. And then if you want to do the year for $99, I mean, I can't imagine over a year's time how many images one is going to, you know, one is going to acquire. Okay, so now I am just, I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Let me close all tabs here. And then here is my folder with all of the images I've downloaded so far. So I wanted to kind of show you, let me see if I can move around here. I'm going to take and make, I'm gonna take a couple images and I'm gonna make a new background. So I'm gonna open this one here up into my Photoshop editing software. This is the doily one that I found. So this is pretty cool. Right, and of course it's purple and pinks, and it's really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove that white background, 
So I'm going to click on my magic wand over here. Oh, I already clicked on it. And then I'm going to click here on the white and it, it selects it all for me and then I'm going to hit delete. Okay, so it see what it did. It now has made it like a transparent image. So then I think I've already pulled it in. Yeah. So then I also got this image from Graphic Stock and it's just, you know, a wood plank look background. And I'm going to take that doily that really kind of looks like a mandala to me and I'm going to place it right on top. You see how cool that looks? I mean, instant. Instant awesome. So that would be a cool background on that. So, so I'm going to change my tool to, uh, what's that called? The selection mover pointy thingy. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure there's a technical. Whoops. Don't do that. Don't do that. Come on, I want this image. There we go. There we go. Okay. So now I'm going to change the size of it. See, I can make it really tiny or I can make it big. So I'm going to make, I'm going to make some scrapbooking paper. So then I'm going to duplicate that image over here and I'm going to move it down here just like that. I'm going to duplicate it one more time. And then I'm going to, where am I going to put it? Maybe move it up here in the corner. I've already made one of these, so just in case, you know, I ran out of time. All right, I'm going to duplicate it again, except this time I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to make it maybe half that size, right? That's kind of cool. And then I'm going to duplicate that one. Oh, got to hit check mark. And then I'm going to move that one somewhere else. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to move them around a little bit until I'm happy with the way I uh, the way it looks. There we go. So it's just as simple as that. And then I'm going to save it. I'm going to save it as a JPEG. Let's see. I'm just going to put anything. Alrighty. Okay, so I'm going to close this down. And so that image should be right here. See how cool that looks, right? So I'm going to print, I already printed them out. I've already made some, like I said, but um, I printed a couple of those out. And then I also, let me see what else I wanted to show you. I like this image. Check that out, right? Would that not be a cool scrapbook paper, a cool cover for a journal or an art journal or good collage, collaging paper? Um, you know what else I thought would be cool? Where's that one image? Okay, I'm going to delete all those things that I made. Oops, yeah. I'm gonna delete those. Yes. All right, so now there's my wood background. Oh, you know what? No, that's what I wanted to do. And look, I'm gonna take my doodle flowers And look, I can place those right on top, right? That's kind of cool. And then let's see, here's the image I created before, um, before I got on camera and check this out. I'm going to put my doodle flowers right on top of that. See how stinking cool that is. So I'm going to save that. Um, Doodle flowers. Two. I'm gonna save that, and if I can, I'm gonna share that on my Facebook page because I really think they look kind of cool. So I'm gonna print some of those out too, um, and then oh, here's something else I wanted to show you. This is also an image from Graphic Stock, and what I thought would be fantastic about this image is great for coloring. They have a lot of images where you can do some a lot of detailed coloring. You know the coloring book um, thing craze that's going on right now. You can just print your own and color. 
Um, I did, I printed a couple of these out on watercolor paper, so I'm going to show you what that looks like um, in just here in just a second. Okay, so I am going to um, move my camera back to over on, my, on top of my workstation there. I'm going to print some stuff out, and then I'm going to do a couple projects with you real quick, show you uh, some really cool uses for uh, the images that you can get from Graphic Stock. And I'll have the, the links below the video the, uh, to go to Graphic Stock. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, so I've got everything printed off. There's my doodle flowers on that background paper that I made. And then I printed off my 6x9 envelope printable onto two of them. And first what I did is I printed the background onto white cardstock and then I sent it back through the printer and printed the envelope um, on top of that. And then, so I got both pieces of the 6x9 and I got another envelope to put in the middle and then look, there's those ones that I thought would be really, a really pretty um, background paper. I didn't print anything on top of it, but I just wanted to show you how really cool it prints out. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and trim all these out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I got everything cut out and I scored everything so I could fold it and I even pre-taped um, the 6x9 envelope and I cut out some of the flowers just in case I want to use them on the pages on the inside. What I'm going to make is like a little journal uh, for myself, like a little writing journal or I guess it could be a sketch journal. And this is going to be the center signature and then the pages, the pages are just going to be um, just plain white copy paper that I folded it in half. Whoa, like this, and then I cut it at five and a half. So for me, it's four and a quarter by five and a half. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, I'm, first I'm going to put the envelope together. I'm going to go ahead, where's my thing? So I'm just going to take the backing off of that score tape, and I'm just going to take the backing off of one side here, like that. And I didn't ink anything, I thought I would just keep this simple. And all you have to do is take the second piece, match it up. I'm trying to get my head out of the way here. Match it up there on that edge. Work it down. Just like that. So that's pretty, pretty good. Not too bad. And then I'm going to take it off the second side here. I'm just going to fold it over. Now, depending on your trim job, you may or may not have some excess. If you do, just trim it off. Whoa. Sometimes I don't trim it just right or I score it on the left side of the line instead of the right side of the line or something like that and it just doesn't fit exactly, but it's an easy fix so not to worry. So then what I'm going to do is I'm thinking, yeah, I'm thinking that I'm going to score this at four and a half. So I'm going to get my scoreboard back out. So if when it's closed, it's obviously nine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to score it real good at four and a half. I'm going to do it on one side, flip it over. And I'm going to do it on the other side, just like that. So then I should be able to fold it just nicely, like that. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Okay, so now we have this. So I think that these pages, I just grabbed a handful, I didn't really count or anything, will fit in there just perfect. I'm going to go ahead and reinforce these where I put the tape there, just to be sure. And then I'm going to have this envelope go on the inside. So it's going to be the center of this signature, just like that. And I'm going to paper clip it together so that it doesn't move. Uh oh. I got a few. 
few. My paper clips have seen better days, it looks like. Okay. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ruler and I'm going to mark two holes. That's it. I'm going to find the center. Um, and that should be right there. I need something to mark with. Whoa. I am going to go about an inch in on each side like that. And then I'm going to poke, poke a hole. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm going to poke it all the way through. Let's see. Let's do it like this. All right. So let me get some more. Here, I'll just use these dilapidated ones. So I'm going to line that up in the middle there. I'm going to clip that on. That, and then I'm going to poke all the way through all those layers, just like that. And I think I'm going to wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. I'm going to do the same thing down here. Just want to make sure it's a good hole there. And I think I'm just going to bind it with this this twine. I think it looks really cool with the with the cover. Okay, so I can't get it through without a needle, so I'm going to grab a needle. I'm going to try to find one that has a big enough eye. Uh, and let's see if I can thread it without messing it up. I did. Alright, so all I'm going to do is go in from the outside all the way through. And then I'm going to go back down to the other hole. Yep, there we go. <laughs> All the way through and then I'm going to give myself enough string to be able to wrap around I think this would probably be good so I'm just going to tie a knot right here y'all have seen me make these before super easy <laughs> Get your finger out of there. So I'm going to tie a knot just like that. And then before I go any further, I'm going to go ahead and glue this envelope shut. So I'm going to use, where's my fiber tack? Fiber tack from Beacon. Again, I will put links below to, um, to graphic stock and to the printable and to the Facebook post for the for the pretty flowers that I think are really cool. And what else would I put a link to? I already said my, my printable. All right, so I added glue to all the necessary spots. And then I'm just gonna close it up. Just like that. Close that right there. It makes a pretty envelope just by itself, doesn't it? Okay, so I got all that. And don't forget, these envelopes, you get a pocket there and you get a pocket there. So for extra stuff. Okay, so then what I want to do is I want to wrap it around a couple times this way, a couple times that way. And tie a knot. Not <laughs> tie a bow just like that. So there's my cute little quick writing journal, right? Isn't that pretty? One, uh, oh, and I was going to put some flowers in there, but maybe I'll do that later. And then the other thing I wanted to show you was the um, that flower I told you about. So I printed it off onto watercolor paper. I printed two of them onto the same sheet. So I cut my watercolor paper down to eight and a half by 11 and then I printed it out. And I have a laser, so I didn't have to worry about what media I used on top. So what I did was I used really cheap um, watercolors. Let me grab them. Really cheap watercolor. 
I don't even know if it was Hobby Lobby or if it's Michaels or Joe, I don't know. Really cheap. A couple bucks, maybe less than five. And I did a little quick watercolor. So you can practice your watercolor techniques using some of the graphic stock images. I think it's really cool. So I encourage you to go check them out and at least get your seven day free trial. And if you like this video, you like my little journal that I made, and you see how it matches my, my thing? I like it. Um, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and let me know what you think in the comments below. And go, be sure to head over and check out um, Graphic Stock and see what, see what kind of cool stuff you can find. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.